Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and as you can see from today's title, we are finally going to take the plunge and do the 24 hour reading challenge, like fully through trying to stay up for 24 hours and read. I've been so nervous to film this video because I just didn't think I could stay up for 24 hours on my own and physically read for that long. So I thought this was the perfect time because it is my birthday weekend and my best friend flew in from Wisconsin to stay with me this weekend. So I have a long weekend and and we thought this would be the perfect time to film this video so I just think it'll be a lot more fun with her here and it will be easier to get through so I'm taking the plunge and I'm finally doing it I hope you guys are excited because I'm very excited but also extremely nervous just because I've never obviously read for 24 hours straight so we're gonna see how it goes we do have our books kind of planned out we're reading one book that is the same that I'll introduce you guys to in a little bit and then I'm kind of going to play it by ear but I have an idea of the books I want to read so I hope you guys are excited I have a lot of fun books planned we have a lot of fun things kind of planned throughout the video we bought matching sets to wear for this video from skims so we're just very dedicated to the cause but i will introduce you guys in a little bit she's downstairs right now and we will get started soon it's almost let's see what time is it it's 2 15 right now so i think we'll start by like 2 45 ish three but i'll let you guys know for sure and we're obviously going to try to read until tomorrow today's a thursday so we're starting on a thursday going to read till tomorrow around this time obviously that's what today's Video is. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. Again, I'm very nervous, but I'm very ready to finally do this video and we'll see how it goes. Hi, Hi guys. guys, I'm back. <laughs> Lucy's back. If you guys didn't see our first video together, this is my best friend Lucy. Hi. We've known each other for, I don't know, Since six years now. I can't no. do math. <laughs> Whatever math that is, that's how long we've known each other. We've literally held a friendship for that long and we just travel back and forth to see each other because we don't live in the same state. But we decided to do the 24 hour reading challenge together. I didn't think I could complete it on my own, so I brought her I'm in. Glad that I have you yeah because I would not be able to do this I think I would just get lonely doing it alone the first book we decided to read together is Bride by Allie Hazelwood we both haven't read it you've never read an Allie Hazelwood book right no yeah I haven't so this is totally new so this is her first Allie Hazelwood book I read a couple and I love her writing so this is obviously different for her so it'll be exciting to read something new but wow. it's like almost what three o'clock right now we are about to start our 24-hour timer and we'll update you guys throughout our experience what's your goal like how many books do you think okay so I feel like my goal would be like three, but that's like yeah. kind of crazy. I feel like that's a lot. That's I don't know, but I feel like I'm going to get delusional. So we'll see if that actually happens. We're going to try to go as long as we can. And we're just going to update you through the whole experience. First book, Bride. let's start the 24 hour reading challenge. We were extra and got matching skim sets. I don't so think this is extra at all. Okay, <laughs> it's not extra for us. If you notice, this is not extra, but we have the matching pink skim sets and they're so comfy. So we are set. I love them. Let's do this. We're starting the 24 hour challenge now. Woo! It's reading! <laughs> okay, I guess I should start reading. We can just talk. It's gonna be hard to do. I know. <laughs> like, cause I'm just gonna wanna talk. We can read out loud to each other. Like, chapter by chapter. <laughs> I get nervous when I read out loud. <laughs> modern world-ish with how they're talking. Yeah, a little bit. I'm still confused. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm reading it and I'm like, wait. But yeah, how they're talking. Sounds... It sounds like normal world, but yeah. I hope it doesn't have like cell phones in it. Stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be kind of strange. You know? Yeah, they're definitely talking like it's now. We'll see. We'll see. Okay guys, update time. We're like two hours in, a little over two hours, and we're both on page 70. It's kind of taken a while because we've been debriefing a little bit, and it's just hard to like know you're gonna read for 24 hours and sit down and actually like read for that amount of time. <laughs> all we want to do is talk and chat. <laughs> yeah. That's all we want. Yeah, like it's hard to sit in a room with your best friend and just read. 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 <laughs> Literally, it's so hard. But we're, we're trying. It's a little confusing. Like I'm, I'm still trying to get into it. I just like don't know how I feel about it so far. So we'll see. I definitely need to like read more and figure out my thoughts. Like I'm still just trying to get the characters down and what's happening in general. So that's where we're at. My allergies are also really bad. So that's why I look like this. But <laughs> we are taking a break and going to get sushi right now because we're hungry and need to eat, need to fuel up. And then we'll come back to our book. Yay! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
So I'm not like a fast reader, I don't think. I like will read a whole paragraph right. and I'll be like, what? And then I oh, have to read it. Because I don't I don't actually read it. You'll like read it, but you're actually not comprehending anything. No, anything. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Maybe that's, that's how it was with the Serena girl. I was like, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think talk about her so much. Yeah. You go, you're like her best friend. Her <laughs> best friend and since she was, was like, 12 years old. Who is this girl? <laughs> Hi, Natalie. <laughs> You're editing this video right now. Okay, bye. Hi guys, long time no update. We are officially over halfway of Ride by Ally Hazelwood. We're on page 207, chapter 16. We're struggling for sure. We both had different expectations going into it, thought it was more fantasy and it doesn't feel that way at all, which that could have been our fault. Like we just thought it was something it's not maybe. I feel like it was kind of advertised as a fantasy, like her first fantasy book, but maybe I'm wrong. I didn't look too much into it before reading it, so it might be my fault. It's 10 o'clock-ish right now and and we have little less than 18 hours left. So we started listening to this on Spotify audiobook, but we're still like reading it as we go. Like we're not like on our phones or anything. We're still like going through the book and reading it while the audiobook's going on. We're doing that, but we're just really looking forward to getting on to the next book. We are treating ourselves to an Olipop right now and snacks because we are in need of like a little pick me up. And then after we finish this book, I have a projector and we're going to put the projector up. So that's gonna be our treat after finishing this book. We need things to motivate us. So after this book, we'll jump into the next one and have the projector and it'll be a vibe. And then we're gonna try to stay up as long as we can until we probably can't anymore. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to finish Bride and then we'll let you guys know what we rate it. And then we'll jump into the next one. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and the magic sets too. Oh, it's this. For air. Oh my god. It was this stiff arm. We got this. Oh, it's good. Yeah. I, I like so. it. It's really good. Have you had this? Yeah, I've had that one before. Not bad. No. The can is super cute. The sweet chili flavor. My favorite. So yeah. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> how do you start this? <laughs> we just finished our first book. It took us a long time. What are your thoughts? Not like, your cup of tea. I like the idea of it, but I feel like the plot wasn't introduced until like 70% into the book. Yeah. Or didn't get the ball rolling. Until yeah. Until like 70% same with the buildup of the romance. Yes. I feel like it's just, it's not my cup of tea. I'm not going to be raving about it. Yeah. I think it was a good start. This is her first time writing this kind of right. story. I liked the concept of it. I don't know if I loved the execution of it. Again, like I love Ali Hazelwood. Like I love her romance books, so I don't want to like dig on it too much but it wasn't our favorite. It was like not the best one to start with because we both didn't really enjoy it. So it's like, now it's <laughs> yeah. what? It's like 12 o'clock. I need to jump into something that I know I'm gonna like. But what would you give it? What would you rate it? It's okay, be honest. <laughs> be honest. I, two stars. Okay, I I think I'm gonna get like 2.5. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I don't wanna hate on it. I don't wanna ick anyone's yum. It just wasn't for us and that's no. okay. So we're gonna move on to our next books. I don't know what I'm gonna read yet. I think I'm going to pick up Just for the Summer. It's Abby Jimenez's new book and I just know like I love her writing. I feel like it's a good bet to pick this one up especially because I'm like starting to get a little Delulu. Yeah the tiredness is starting. I'm gonna set up the projector so we have. Oh thank god <laughs> our reward. We have a little spice <laughs> in our life so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and maybe some more stretching. Yeah. <laughs>
Do you want to go get a cop? this video because I totally forgot to do it the day we completed it because we were just so tired after and then we had other things going on so I just forgot to end it which is my bad but I wanted to let you guys know about my thoughts on Just for the Summer by Abby Inez. This was the second book I completed. I completed it just in time. We both completed our second books just in time. We definitely slacked a little but we got two books in so I think we were both happy with that. Lucy ended up reading Caraval. I will let you guys check out her video for her thoughts on that because I forgot to record with her so I don't have her thoughts on it. I just know what she told me, but you guys should go check her video out to see her thoughts. But this book is about Emma and Justin. They're both basically cursed with love. Whoever they break up with ends up finding like their soulmate afterwards. So they end up meeting on this Reddit thread, start talking and kind of form a relationship. And obviously I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you can kind of see where it goes. But if you haven't read this, I totally recommend reading it. I loved it. I think I would give it a four star. I loved Just for the Summer. I will say out of all the Abby Jimenez books I've read, I think this would be like the third favorite, which I've only read Part of Your World, Yours Truly, and then this one. So this is probably third on the list for me, but it was still so good. I'm just obsessed with her writing. She just knows how to pull people in and get really involved in the storyline. So I love that about her. This book was definitely easy to like fly through the second time because Bride was hard for us to complete. As you guys saw, we didn't love that book. So going into this, I knew I loved her writing and that's why I wanted to do this for my second book because I felt like it would be easy to get through and it definitely was. If you guys haven't read this, it's her newest release and I 100% recommend. So my lowest Abby Jimenez book that I've read, but it was still so good and you should definitely read it. So that's my thoughts on this book. I'm sorry, I realized I like didn't record my thoughts reading throughout this because I first started reading it when we were gonna go to bed at like 2.30 a.m. And so I was super tired and I had only read a little bit into it. And then by the time we got up, got coffee and stuff, we were kind of trying to race to like get the second book done within the 24 hours so I realized I like didn't tell you my thoughts throughout it so I wanted to sit down really quickly and tell you that I really enjoyed it so this was the second book I read I'm really happy we both got in two books it was so much fun to do I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I'd like to film it again I don't know when the next time I would film this video would be but if you guys do like it and want me to film another one let me know and I think obviously it'd be fun because it was so much fun to do it with her before I go I'm going to add a couple clips in at the end of this showing you a gift that Lucy got me for my birthday because it was my birthday when she came and visited so I want to show you guys the gift so I'm going to insert the clips of that really quickly I want to show you guys this because it means so much to me one of my guests I got from Lucy was this hand crocheted book cover which is so insane like she just recently learned how to crochet and she made this book cover for me and it's so so pretty I love it I'm literally obsessed and I don't have one so it's perfect she also read and annotated the whole book of the ballad of never after and I'll just show you guys a little bit of how much effort she put into this it's so insane and i'm so so grateful like we've known each other for six years now and she's just the best friend i could ever ask for so like the fact that she went through and put in little notes obviously in little pictures throughout i'm so excited to read this but it just means the world so i love you lucy if you're watching this and i just want to show you guys this because i'm obsessed and i felt like you guys needed to see it also i'm going to insert clips of us meeting rebecca yaros we met rebecca yaros on my actual birthday which was sunday april 7th we got to listen to her talk and then had to do a very quick picture with her afterward because there was like 1700 people i'm pretty sure i'm gonna insert some clips of us meeting her really quickly and just the event in general because i thought it'd be fun and i thought you guys would like to see that so i'm gonna insert those as well
also I'm going to link Lucy's video down below. Obviously you guys should go check her out. She's my very best friend and I love her so much and she makes the best content. She does a lot more lifestyle than book content but she's been incorporating more book content but her vlogs and her weekly vlogs are super super good so you guys should go check her out down below. I'll have everything linked so you guys can do that but thank you so so much for watching. I love you guys dearly and I'll see you in my next video.